Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 28th. Uh, this week, we're going to just jump right in here and take a look at what is going on for you, Scorpio. Uh, also, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what is going on for you at this time, Scorpio. Uh, on top of all that, uh, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked in the description below. Uh, there are a ridiculous amount of scammers uh, out there nowadays in uh, Facebook, YouTube, none of them, they don't care so that you're getting scammed. I will never contact you for money, asking for anything at all, period, and I do not do personal readings. So if someone is contacting you claiming to be me, it is not me, and uh, yeah, definitely report the account, whoever it is. So uh, that that's that, but uh, let's see here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the King of Wands here showing up in your first row. I feel like a lot of attention. I feel like you're coming in hot <laughs> is what I would say here in this first row. I feel like there's a lot of attention, a lot of success, like a lot of good things showing up here. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, like really good successful energy here. I feel like there's still something you're looking at, though, uh, in the past. So I would definitely be careful of that, Scorpio. I don't think you're, like, stuck to the past, but I just feel like you could be thinking about the past or you could be having certain feelings about the past with this King of Wands energy. Uh, but... Um, you know, overall, I feel like you're showing up in a very bold, assertive position. You have the uh, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords here. I feel for some of you, it's like there's something very, you're going, this is, you know, <laughs> the thing about the Six of Pentacles that I can't pick up is that, you know, it is a card of success, growth, abundance, you know, good things, good news coming in for you. It's a victory. And you have the Ten of Pentacles as well. Ten of Pentacles can represent it represent an inheritance and it can represent wealth and success and all these other things. But I feel like you just have, like, I feel like it's more talking about kind of an understanding. You know, I feel like it's talking about you, you having a solid understanding. Page of Swords is looking towards the past here, which I think is interesting. It's almost like for some of you, you're still looking to the past for answers. The Ten of Pentacles really tells me you have everything you need right? So I would say that if some of you are wondering, like, am I ready to, you know, start my business? Am I ready to do this, that, or the other thing? Am I ready to move or start a relationship? I would say yes. I feel like the Page of Swords is almost saying, stop looking uh, towards the past. That's really all I'm getting there, Scorpio. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, Emperor here. You have the Emperor twice, which is interesting. We're going to see where this is going. You have the King of Pentacles as well, and the Seven of Pentacles, definitely ready for a change here, uh, Scorpio. I feel like there's a very significant uh, change coming in for you here. Uh, one that's going to lead to like long-term success and long-term growth. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles in your past position. Uh, if you don't know, I read past, present, future, um, but it's a loose spread, right? I read intuitively. I just read the messages I get. I f and you have the emperor twice. The emperor really tells me that you have a very, so like, whatever you're thinking <laughs> for your future is a very solid plan. Like, you're coming up with a plan on how to be successful in work, business, career, um, or any other area of your life. Even the king of wands. The king of wands here, this is an energy, the king of wands, of kind of, like, really nurturing something into existence. The king of wands really takes care of something, really raises something like a baby, really kind of makes manifest things uh, in his life by, you know, taking care of things, by um, nurturing them into existence. So I feel like you have like a really solid plan is what this is saying on how to, you know, be successful, whether in any area of your life, whether it's, you know, having a family, starting a business, whatever, like I said, doesn't matter. Uh, in your middle row here, you have the armadillo spirit. This says set healthy boundaries. So I do feel like you're going to have to set healthy boundaries. What I will say, seven of wands, seven of pentacles, and you have the seven of pentacles twice here. The two sevens, and especially the seven of wands, kind of, I don't think this is talking about boundaries necessarily with people, which is always important, Scorpio. I feel like this is saying, I, I really feel like this should be saying set standards, right? I feel like that if you could set certain standards for your life, then you are going to be like ridiculously successful by setting those standards. And what I mean by a standard is like maybe you set the standard that you wake up at six o'clock in the morning and get to work right away, right? Or something like that. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just giving you an example, <laughs> right? As someone who loves to sleep, I, I totally understand not wanting to do that, Scorpio. But, you know, again, there could be certain standards where if by setting those standards, it's almost like you're, um, you know, kind of demanding 
demanding from the universe your success. And I don't think enough people do that. And again, if we live up to the standard, then the universe gives us what we desire. And that's kind of like what I feel like this is saying as far as boundaries is concerned. It's like maybe there is a certain amount of work that you can do on your business. It's like do that work and you know set that as a standard that you always do, right? And then the universe will make you, uh, you know, will move out of the way, will allow you to be successful. The seven of pentacles, I feel like I feel, you know, he's normally looking at those pentacles and it can, rep this card can represent a change in direction. It can say that he is going to make a change or that there will be some sort of change in direction in his life. Um, but he could, we could also look at this and say, he's looking at those pentacles and he's kind of like waiting until they're ripe. He's like waiting for the best time to pick those pentacles. He's waiting for them to be, um, you know, ready basically. So I do feel that for some of you that you're kind of like waiting for for your harvest. You're waiting for something to happen. But you have the Seven of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Queen of Cups here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you need to trust your intuition on that Seven of Pentacles because I'm getting the word cash out. And so for some of you, I feel you're like waiting to cash out on something in your life and it could be like selling a house or selling a car. I feel like you need to trust your intuition here. Uh, for others, I do feel this could be like a new love offer coming in for you here. I feel like this person's like a little bit guarded is what I would say to you here, Scorpio, which is weird because it looks like to me in the future, in the near future, as well, you have the Page of Cups. I feel like this person will be making an offer. So if you're waiting for love, I do feel like there is love coming in. This person is a little bit guarded. Um, uh, emperor twice here i feel like they kind of have armor on the emperor he has this like little um he has like a shield on his shoulder here it's kind of hard to see but it kind of looks like a little shield basically and for some reason it's popping into my head as a shield i feel like he's being guarded it's actually just part of his cloak but you know again intuitively i feel like it's like a shield or something that he's trying to use to protect himself you have the uh, five wands here yeah if you have someone who's coming in in the form of love who is guarded, they probably just have been hurt in the past with that Five of Wands energy. Yeah, I feel like this person needs time to heal. Yeah, some of you could be, so, I mean, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> and you have the U world, okay. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you could be attracting a person who's going through healing. So it might just take time for this person to offer you love. Like if you're dealing with someone and you're, if you're like, I'm dropping this person a lot of hints, but they're not making a move, then I would say that they're probably just going through healing. So if you, uh, I'm not telling you to be patient. I'm just saying, if you want this person, then I would just be patient because it looks like they're going to make an offer in the future. I just hear it in my head. Like some of you are like, why isn't this person making a move yet and so some of you are clearly flirting with a person and I feel like they're not making a move yet uh, for the rest of you um, this is you going through a healing and I do feel like there's a lot of attention coming in for you it's weird all three water signs have had something about attention this week and so that tells me it's probably a collective energy and it also tells me that it's an opportunity for attention basically when I get the star can be fame and fortune but you know, it doesn't have to be you becoming famous. It can just say there are opportunities for you to stand out, like in work, in business, or in love. So in like work or business, do the do extra work. Do the things that make you stand out, right? It would be a good week to do that. Even with the world. The world is like literally getting the attention of the world. And it could also just say you're getting the attention of your world, meaning the people around you, your community, your job, or, you know, at your career or whatever. So I feel for some of you, this is kind of like saying, get the attention of the people around you because, you know, it's going to lead to success, abundance, something coming in for you. Uh, next, you have the change in the wind card. Again, seven of pentacles twice, impossible to not experience a change. Seven of pentacles is a change in direction. He's just looking at those pentacles and he's saying, is the juice worth the squeeze? And the answer for you, I feel like is probably not because it looks like you're making a change here in your life, obviously, with this change in the wind card. You have the page of cups, the seven of wands and the eight of wands here. Eight of wands, very quick movement in and moving very quickly as well. And the eight of wands can also be desires. Eight of wands was traditionally like the arrows of love, like shooting your, telling the universe basically what you want with your intentions and then getting it back. It's kind of like classic, you know, law of attraction, the eight of wands energy here. The seven of wands is, you know, again, can be a card of boundaries and it is a card of defending your position at the top of a hill. 
for you, Scorpio, I feel this is more you being very sure of yourself. I feel like you're very sure of your desires. I feel like you're very, it's like you're much more, you know, I almost get a certain level of confidence, which I kind of get with that King of Wands energy. I feel like you're very confident. I feel like you're very sure of what you want now as well. So of course, you're going to attract it very quickly in the future. So you might have your eyes set on a person or you might be attracting a certain type of person into your life. And I feel like because of your, because you're so sure of yourself, it's like you are attracting someone very quickly uh, into your life. You have the uh, two of pentacles here. You have the two of swords here and the uh, justice card. Yeah. I mean, justice is just cause and effect. It's like literally where you put your energy is what you're going to get back. Two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is very similar. Two of pentacles can be juggling. It can be a card of multitasking as well. But really, I feel it's kind of like he has a choice, like where he puts his focus or his energy. And I feel like that's what, um, the justice card is saying. The second you focus on one thing that you want, you'll get it. The Two of Swords, I feel, is just a change. You know, Two of Swords can be a card of a stalemate, being stuck, but she just needs to turn around and see the new lands behind her because the new lands behind her are new, something new, right? Change in the wind. So this reading to me is just saying that there is some sort of change in direction happening in your life. How exciting, Scorpio. L let, let's see where this change is going. I definitely want more details on this. Uh, you have the hangman showing up here. So uh, something you've been waiting for. You have the six of cups, uh, some sort of turnaround, and the five of cups. Mm, for some of you, I actually like this. For some of you, the change that is happening is if you have had a disappointment in the past, then, uh, you know, where like maybe you tried to start a business and it didn't work out. Six of Cups is a gift from the universe and it represents the removal of obstacles. The, that's the uh, gift we get from the universe with the Six of Cups is obstacles being removed from our path. And so for a lot of you, I almost feel like you're finding another way to uh, get around something. Look, he's crying over spilt milk, but he's also crying because he can't cross this river to get to the castle. But if he, he just turned around and saw those two cups, he would see the bridge that leads to that castle. So really, you know, this is why you're having all these change in direction cards. It's just saying, don't be afraid to make some sort of change here if something isn't working out, especially in business or work or whatever. Um, but I feel like this change changes everything for you here, Scorpio. This is like a significant, um, you know, a significant change in direction. Yeah, three cups. It's going to lead to a celebration for you, Scorpio. You have the uh, Knight of Cups as well. Um, Knight of Cups is like a dream or your dream life. Could also be love. And the Knight of Swords here as well. Uh, the Knight of Swords is quick movement. I do feel like more momentum as well. So I would say if something isn't working, just try another way. I know, I know, I know that's ridiculously simple, but that's kind of like what I'm getting here in your reading. Yeah, you have this Imagine card here as well. So I feel that for a lot of you, kind of like the change in direction is it's like you're being given the opportunity to live some sort of dream uh, that you've had for a long time. This is definitely something you've tried before in the past. Like maybe you have a dream to start a family and get married and all this other stuff. It probably didn't work out. And it's like now you're being given another chance to have a, start a family or be with a person. If you want to start a business, same thing. It's like maybe you tried in the past, didn't work out. It's like now you're going to be able to try again here in this last row. So I really like where this is going for you, Scorpio. Definitely a very positive energy a lot of good stuff coming up for you here. I do feel like there could be new love coming in as well. Uh, I'm not so sure that you're focused. I, you know, I feel like at this time, I feel like you're focused on uh, turning things around in your life. So, um, you know, that could include your love life, but I feel like it's just like a part of it. It's not the main, you know, I would say it's not the main focus. I mean, there is love here. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, definitely could be a Knight in Shining Armor coming in for you. I, some of you could have a fire sign coming in, but you have pretty much everything here. So it could be any sign. But I do feel like there could be new love coming in for a lot of you. And I feel like it'll make you very happy, Scorpio. So uh, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Scorpio, and definitely enjoy your week.